welcome back. This is my reaction to the Dutch Grand Prix. I cannot stop calling it Netherlands Grand Prix, but if you get their Dutch. And Netherlands Grand Prix would just be so long and stupid. So I'll call it Dutch. Yeah, this is not those few people who called it the, the Zandvoort Grand Prix because, come on guys, Zandvoort's just, just a track. I'm not gonna call it the, you know, you know, um, the, the, the Silverstone Grand Prix. You're not gonna call it the Silverstone Grand Prix. Well, we had a pretty good race on our hands. Sadly, I didn't get to watch all of it. I only got to watch half, but I saw the rest. But everything I'm I mostly already unfolded by that point. But yeah. Honestly, I think it was a great race, different strategies and stuff, people fumbling. We get to fumbling in a minute. I think it was a generally great race. So we haven't had a great F1 race in a bit. But yeah, obviously, Max Verstappen won. And, well, it's his home race, so you gotta expect it. And he's done it. He's equaled the record for nine wins in a row. We all knew it was coming. Now he wins at the Netherlands. And that's the joint record with Sebastian Vettel. And if he wins the Monza, they'll make it ten in a row. I'm definitely gonna watch him to hold that Monza race because that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah, driver today was Fernando had to come into the pot finishing P two. We had Gasly on the podium, which nobody was expecting. Like he just did the right strategy call, and he was pretty. He was pretty quick, so good for him to get a podium. Hopefully, this is good things coming for Alpine because I'm gonna like I like Alpine a bit, you know. I like Gaffley. You know, not being biased, I'm just happy that Gaffley got a podium. And yeah, this is the first podium for Alpine. If we say that off Atari, he wouldn't have gotten this. Not on that car. But yeah, for the top 10, of course, we had the rest. We had Perez, which Perez was leading the race at one point until Stappen overcut him. Overcut or undercut? Undercut, yeah. But yeah, we had Sainz having an amazing race. Hamilton climbing back up to 6th. Norris 7th, Albon 8th. By the way, I should have a video tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, for the winners and losers from this Grand Prix. If I choose to still do that video, I probably won't. But if you're out, you know, I'll just put that into here. I feel Albon is a bit of a loser. Yeah, A for the great result for Williams, but he's got a sixth six place could have been on the board for him. But A is still great for Williams. Shows us the step that they've really taken. Piastri knife, Alcon 10th. Alcon was on the wet tire for a bit and was like, come on. Like, he was, I thought he could have gotten a better position. Let's not even talk about Russell, of course, Leclerc, Dan, I think. We're not going to speak about that. Russell had a horrendous race. Mercedes were a horrendous on strategy. So that was McLaren, but McLaren has been able to get their both cars back. And Russell started P3 and ended up P17. How? I have a strategy. We're, we're going to talk about Ferrari here. They pitted. Leclerc, and they had no tires there. We tried to do a pit stop without tires. What is going on? They have to, like, cut their slack in Monza, because they can't do that in front of, front of the Tofosi. Tofosi, I mean. Sorry. That, that was just embarrassing. It was kind of hard to watch, not going to lie. Kind of hard to watch them make all those mistakes. But, yeah. That's going to be it. For my reaction to the Grand Prix, great Grand Prix out of 10, I would put it at a 7.8. No, it was very good. I think every tire was used.
during the weekend. Every tire was used. But yeah, hopefully the hub train continues into Monza. I'll have my predictions. Probably not probably not Wednesday. I mean probably not um Friday. Probably Thursday. Thursday or Wednesday. Probably Thursday. I'm probably too lazy to put it out Wednesday. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.